Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we are continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where we're trying to survive as long as possible in Legendary Iron Man difficulty with double enemy squad side Yellow Alert, uh, a better advent and dozens and dozens of even more gruesome and dreadful enemy mods. It is not going well. The last two missions were a loss and a loss. And this time I can really use this win as we're approaching on Operation Do Mask. We're kind of in the middle of uh, month number four. Mind you, we're still having the problem that we really just can't get our armor upgrade. At the moment that that would happen, I think we can sustain longer in the fights. Weapon upgrades are fine, but we're being like uh, continuously prevented from... Uh, from researching more. I need an advent mech and I need a lot of uh, trooper corpses just to get the armor upgrade. This here is a very serious side goal. Arbor Gate, if it comes uh, through, essentially means the next time that we're losing any mission, any mission, the game is over. So this is a prime uh, dark event that always needs to be countered. We're fighting against bio troops, we're fighting against bandits, and we're fighting against dark elders. And I wouldn't be wondering if uh, there are additional other units in there. So we got ourselves a nice little team here. Hayward and Endor's double sniper. Haven't had that in a while. Grell is leading the fray. I just want her to level up and get that major rank. We got Zirkim here. We got Roby. And we got a scout. Scout plus double sniper is a valid tactic. It is not the quickest way of advancing. But I feel that the uh, the hacking the device up mission is one where I don't need to move too much. If we can find decent high ground, that should be sufficient. The one thing that I forgot is uh, we do have a spider suit and I should have actually put them on one of uh, the snipers. Well, my bad. Needs to happen the next time. Okay, time to land. That is the city map. And that is exactly what we wanted, high ground, or even landing on high ground. Our game is throwing us a little bone, but so I thought the last time when it uh, offered us 120 intel and an engineer for a particularly easy mission. And then we realized, nope, it is not easy at all, specifically if Dark Elders are just shooting down your VIP without any warning, counterplay. Well, that is uh, Spectre, if uh, he says that. Damn. Moving over. All right, Dark Elders and plenty of enemies, really. Problem is they can come from the right-hand side and what, what are we dealing with? Melee enemies, some of the Scorch, and this here looks like the upgraded melee version. 13 hit points, 30 defense, just to make it impossible to hit them, I suppose. And 17 uh, speed. Mm. That is nasty. The Spectre is, is bad news as well. Good, moving all the way over here with Hayward. Moving a bit closer with Enders. I don't know, I think Grell might actually have a solid position up here as a support. Equally so. Nah, let's have at least her up here. Yeah, 
And Zirkim takes the flank from this side. All right, Overwatch, Overwatch. Evolution cannot be stopped. Good. Now they are running into the Dark Elders. That's not the end of the world. I actually think that uh, it might be helpful for us. I must find All right, okay, well, the entire map is uh, triggered. And there is a good old smoke to make it more difficult to deal with uh, the riot uh, with the max. Okay, but the Dark Elders can take that punishment. Oh, there's even a tower up here. Holy shit. Don't just run there. Okay, I was afraid they might spot out. I was afraid they might spot out our Reaper. Good, well, we're revealed. Cool. It's not getting better, it's getting worse. All right, luckily the Dark Elders decide to go for the enemy uh, for the enemies instead of us. He killed himself with that absolute stupid maneuver. And we cannot heal ourselves because we're confused. Well, good job. We could hit one person, I guess. Gotta clean this here up. This here would destroy the building so the guy falls down falls onto his friend that is extra damage right there I'm just trying to clean the battlefield really that almost kills her she's down to one HP Zirki moves up. And now... Can we... No, we can't.
We can remove the cover here though. And with the explosion of the claymore. They should die. You cannot kill me. Still zero percent. That would be a solid kill, right there. How many is that now? And I think we can kill the trooper as well. Hmm. Is there any way to deal that one point of damage that is missing? Can't even use teamwork, which is an absolute shame. She is stronger. We really need to get rid of her first. Trooper isn't the biggest problem. She's a much bigger one. Well, could Overwatch. Moving to here is good, but it would expose us to the downstairs problems. So I think the right play here, since we're down to 2 HP, is really to hunker down. And as much as it sucks not to be able to hit her this whole shenanigan here is just taken so many hit points and so much tempo out of our approach that's well, really really despicable well it's only 67 percent can't let that happen wow do i really need to use run and gun i think i i do That's the power of uh, the Dark Elders right there. It forces me to uh, to use a lot of cooldowns just to get rid of her. Don't even want to know how hard she would have hit if she would have hit us. the guy cloning the dark elder warrior oh nice oh nice Well, this is not looking good, but it sort of was expected to not look good. Okay, well, the bandits have just joined. That's fine. They are the little snack, intermediary snack. There we go, talking about a snack. She takes a big fat bite. This here would be a fantastic uh, car explosion. Remote start, that is. Good, I think the bandits at this point are really more the interim's gimmick. 
Like the bandit rifleman, which seems to be the newcomer, has four hit points and shoots for one. Like that's balanced for a normal XCOM, I get it, right? Um, they are bandits. What uh, should we say? They are not hyper modified cyber psychos. They are just bandits. Banditing together. All right, disorientation removed. Well, I can tell you what we're doing. We're staying alive. And I want to take a look if I can really mess up the scenery. This could give us a huge advantage if I can pull it off. 33%, let's go. All right, just made it a little bit worse for us. I could have continued to heal, but the point that I was, uh, that I'm already seeing in this mission is if we want to have a chance to win this, we need to take some risks. Moving to here, dangerous. We would be out of reach, and the guys are still fighting back there. I guess that'll be okay. Roby's moving up. Shotgun very much to the face. Moving all the way to here. That'll give us more visibility and more enemies. By seeing what we're up against in the corner there, I'm not sure if we even have enough firepower. I mean, look at that. It's 15. That's 40 hit points right here with the two elders, right? And then we have the mech, another 20. Marauder, 15. We had a full pack in here, 40, 50 hit points, four armor, five armor actually. That tower is indeed heavy. Don't even want to know what super heavy looks like. Okay, well. I guess moving up slowly. We have a hard time dealing with those guys here. 22% is not great. High cover, low cover, 20% shots aren't fun at all this is one to three points of damage is that really worth it without shredding i don't know right i think we're taking the 20 percent shots That smoke makes it really, really difficult. 40%, come on. All right. That's not bad. We're just uh, taking a couple of pot shots here. Next turn, if they still stay somewhat in and around that, um, that car, we would be in a good position. Oh, you are kidding me, right? We're not fighting against Sectopods at this time. How is that even a thing? <laughs> oh, wow. 
This is so bad on so many levels. Alright, we definitely need to go and kill Advent because the problem is Advent has such a high caliber force here. What exactly? Okay, never mind. He took a shot at uh, the Dark Elders. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? He actually killed the Viper. Nice. Nice. I would have not thought that the bandits would do something meaningful, but that was a pretty solid turn. That was a very solid turn. Okay. Anyways, got a business appointment upcoming and we're pausing it here for a second. This is completely messed up. Let me just test one thing. No, no, no. Mm. If we could lure them to here, that would be great. But how do you do that? Hmm. We'll find out in a few moments. Anyways, gotta go. Uh, see you in a sec. Alright, and we are back. So, revisiting this mess of a situation. Uh, the shadow here is a lose-lose situation. If we kill it, the veteran Dark Elder Warrior will be coming back. If we do not kill it, we will need to deal with it, which sucks. And seeing the situation overall is not helpful either i know the specter is here at least yeah it uh, it was uh, having its kind of vanish here so i figured it will likely be here and this here is a nice little crit unfortunately when you now kill specters that no longer will make them disappear it just makes them more angry Alright, I think Grell is doing what Grell is supposed to do, which is really healing everybody just so that we can stay in combat. Move up to here and hit that shadow. This isn't too bad. Can we take high ground somehow? There's high ground over here. All right, we have a Zirkim alternative. Hmm. That's still full cover. Sixty percent chance to kill him. I think that is amongst all of our chances the best one that we will get. Okay. 
doesn't kill the shadow like I said we have installed the hardcore mod Spectre hardcore Certainly does not help, but we're missing this all-important shot. But we do have uh, remove the cover, which in return allows us to actually stay here or advance carefully. And I'm I'm more up for staying. Full cover is hard to get. Might as well move to here so that we can slowly play with that high ground here vision uh, barrier kind of try to get around and flank Zirka moves that's exactly the opposite of what I was hoping we would get but look there's only so much we can do if we're not hitting flanking shots and we're not hitting flanking shots there is a good chance of an actual kill okay so it evened out now unfortunately that elder down there is alive and well One of the things I could do, theoretically speaking, would be getting up here and then slowly making our way and then slowly making our way up here. I think that's not a bad idea. All right, yet another Spectre. This bandit is still alive and well. <sighs> oh boy, got to deal with that sector uh, sector port hunter. But if we could get a hack onto that sector port, that would be just fantastic. All right, these two we can kill with a remote start. Cool. If he gets a bit closer, it would even be a three uh, for one. The Dark Elder is doing a fantastic job for us. He's taking so much damage. But there's only so much uh, that he can do. That's not bad. I like it. That potentially draws aggro. And now it is the Dark Elder's turn. And they still have a few units left. Not many, but some. No, first it's the Bandit's turn. Good. Well, officially, we're now introducing the super heavy turret. And I have absolutely no idea why he's shooting at civilians, but okay. That's a very smart move, uh, getting kind of out of range. Okay, we're now going to do that kind of three for one uh, remote start. And by three for one, I mean we're actually killing three with that remote start. Enjoy the show. Okay, it's a two for one, but still, my point stands. Highly effective. Yeah, 
He got to work against Advan here. Hardened Drone. Vanguard 50-50. Let's get that Vanguard if we can. Not work out, okay. Moving into full cover. Zirkim, unfortunately, is just one target. I hate to do that, but he could easily turn around and become a problem for us. Let's continue going for that Vanguard. Sectopod would be a really good target. The sky still benefits from low cover, although we have destroyed the low cover. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Let's minimize the chances of us getting hit. Our frontliner, Roby, gets another aid protocol just to make him a less attractive target. Threat assessment on top of it is a, is a great um, Overwatch ability. Unfortunately, Lightning Reflexes very much negate that. That little healing drone starts to become annoying. There are still bandits left over. And a couple of Dark Elders. One Dark Elder to be precise. Come on, buddy. You need to continue tanking this. I'm counting on you. Good. Bandits are dead. That was the last of them. He needed to hit that one in order to make it easier. We're green to go. All right, starting with our snipers, right? This cannibal here could be a kill. I like it. Come on. Worst time for a miss. Seriously. Really bad timing for a miss. One more turn until we can haywire protocol. Finally. I think we're just overwatching one more turn until a remote start. Unfortunately, we do not have a uh, silent killer, so... This turn... It's pretty plain vanilla, right? Gotta deal with that Sectorport Hunter down there.
Yeah, we need to move closer. The problem with moving closer is we are also exposing ourselves and I don't like that. Gotta stay compact here. This should shred him a little bit. Not a lot, but every little bit counts with armor. Overwatching with Hayward and Grell. Yeah. I don't like it. I think we would be too exposed. Moving down here will allow him to get a flanking position on us. We are already in the best potential position. This here will get us out of the Berger range and allow us to hit the Spectre at least. I think that's better than nothing. Well, of course, if we're hitting it, that is. And now we do have the problem. Too many hit points, really hard to deal with. Don't stun him. I need his damage. He's kind of our last hope. He keeps that mission alive. No more bandits, but we got this guy. That is that is fantastic. Good hit. Oh, that, on the other hand, was a really bad hit. Is there any other explosive material in here? Potentially. Could this stuff explode? Yeah, why not? Problem that I'm seeing is we also need to get in here without triggering. This would uh, trigger the Spectre. So say if we were to move like this, pretty dangerous, too, too far too much in the open. I think this here could be the right call. was hoping for a remote start indoors, like some of that stuff.
We need to be able to see the Spectre because that guy needs to die next. Here we go. Snipers, focus the Spectre, please. Nice little hit. Good job. Alright, that allows us entrance next turn. Gotta deal with these guys. Sirkin moves into full cover. Fifty fifty to kill this guy. Or we're just removing cover. Let's remove cover. Well, let's not. Let's not remove cover. What's over there? Let's do this. All right, time to kill this guy. We're reloading. You your that assassin is almost down. Yeah, and there we go. That is it. GG. Okay, gotta deal with that sector port next. Oh well. But we're starting to stabilize. And I need to take a sh another short break, but uh, we're, we're going to be back in a second. And then uh, I'll hopefully finish this banger of a mission. All right, and we are back. So this one is indeed pretty much a banger. Got that hardened drone. I like it. If we could... The riot mech isn't bad either. Let's see what our chances are to actually hacking these guys. Fifty-fifty, which is good. The hardened drone could be helpful for us. Not necessarily because it deals a lot of damage, but we got to admit that it actually solves a huge problem of ours, which is healing and just tanking. And that's just 33%. So we're going for the hardened drone. We, could use one of those. we, by the way, have a revival protocol, so our ranger might also be back. So before we're, before we're doing that... Trying to find ways to reach 
this guy. We could try to go for the anti-riot mech. Potentially not a bad idea. Just trying to get it down. Chances to hit them aren't that great, but eventually with enough shots it'll go down. We're not yet hacking. This will happen next turn. For now, all we're doing is just solid hunkering down. Alright, Zirkim. I think he can reload so that we can actually take shots next turn. Come on. I need a little bit... A little bit of RNG on our side. Oh boy, we could have gotten the Mac. Okay, so they hate the drone, which means all of them potentially will go and attack it. Nah, that was bad. Lots of Overwatch. Alright, so there is a bit of a problem here. I need to take that hack. Wrath is likely going to die. Uh, but the whole idea behind uh, behind this is... Ooh, nice. That's 40 intel right there. The whole idea behind it is I need to stop uh, that, uh, that uh, project uh, from happening. And uh, we would, even if we're now evacuating we would take uh, we would still take a furic victory which is helpful good this here trigger is the overwatch drone shock shield all right shield it is That's two extra hit points. Not a lot, nothing to write home about, but better than nothing. And we could theoretically move to here. Can we even move up? No. We're back to four hit points. And Wrath might have the slightest of chances to survive. Time to kill that Riot Mac. Oh, come on. I need a hit. No chance of... Well, there is a chance of killing that guy. Alright. I tell you what. Wrath with an A protocol. Might even have a chance to get out of there. Overwatching with Grell. Position 
We don't want to deal with the sector port yet. Uh, so we're just overwatching. And now the shield, uh, the shield drone can be our saving grace here. Ooh. Does that shield drone have... Oh yeah, it has 20 defense, which is fantastic. That explains why everybody is missing. Alright, now the armor is getting shredded. Not good. But it's a living Mimic Beacon. Okay, we're continuing to hopefully get rid of these guys. Before we go in. Can re-stealth, which might save our life. Again, additional overwatches. Ah, uh, shield buff stacking. I have no idea, but we're going to find out. Uh, the answer is no. I don't know what that red dot means. I strike from the darkness. As you order, Commander. But I think there is still an option to remote start down there. Apparently, apparently I couldn't really see the sector port. We gotta reload and I'm still not able to get on top of that roof. Good, Roby, you cannot play that yet. We need you. Four now. We're staying completely out of line of sight. Yeah, next, next turn... I would move in with Zirkim. Good, so that sector port cannot go anywhere. It made a huge mistake by getting down uh, downstairs Let 
time to... Hmm, stun. Time to move to here. Wow. Well, we can't really do a lot with the shield. Other than continuously stacking it. Last time we had that red dot. I'm not sure if this is just continuing to grow uh, grow as a buff or something. Moving to high ground. Roby will stay out of uh, line of sight for now. Reload Overwatch. And I think... I think we're okay for now in terms of spotting enemies out. out can always explode the drone there. But for now, let's just hunker down. Good, drone just stopped being uh, controlled. That sector port here is, looks super lost. He's trying to find his pathing. Oh wow, the repair is actually relatively strong. Gotta be careful here. But that guy is burning. Still can't hit anything. He will continue to burn. I will reposition. Does this give us line of sight on the mech? Yes, it does, because the mech will be the next sort of target that that I would like to deal with. A protocol for Zirkim. And Zirkim goes to the absolute maximum distance so that the sector pod will not hit him. There's the shredding I was hoping for. Fantastic. Now it's time to clean this up. I said, now it is time to clean this up. Good Marauder. Hopefully soon to be deceased. By the way, I call bullshit on that one. That's a typical case of... Um, of XCOM just trying to be a little bit extra difficult.
They had no business knowing that we were there. But they still managed to move on. Good, now he just died. Fantastic. Good, we're continuing to move in. Long watch, long watch, and further overwatch. There are about five, five ish targets left. Good, the sector pod has just positioned himself right next uh, to the explosive barrel. Finally. I could have seen that because it was for the first time attackable. Time for us to move in. And definitely time to destroy the sector pod. Fully shredded. further forward the high ground is great but it's not offering us enough on the flip side i think we can start moving in on low ground because all of the enemies are gone High ground, plus a little bit of cover, not good enough. Here I come. More cover. Moving over and moving closer as a sniper. Affirmative, covering now. I'm, I'm trusting you here. Come get some on Overwatch. Got it covered. All right, down to one HP. Brel should be fed the kills. I'm just overwatching for now. There's still a f very f Okay. I'm slightly salty because uh, we lost our Reaper. That that was a clear case of yeah, I needed to spot you out and then of course they dealt exactly 4 points of damage. Um, killing it outright. But this is again adding to 
the meat grinder. We are not having in, uh, enough hit points left over to just walk around with normal armor. It's no longer cutting it. We definitely need predator armor to go uh, further. That would have saved them. The whole mission though was really, really cool. Super hard port. I mean, uh, Roby went down. Stabilize, get back up and just get everybody really on board. Hardcore enemies though. Seven missions, six, uh, yeah, 16 kills. All right, lightning hands, that was good. Endors. I like death from above, but I also like quick draw. We're starting with quick draw, but we're going to get to death from above as well. 44 days. Oh boy. All right, game apparently doesn't like it. Let me fix that, hopefully. Now oh, we haven't lost anything. Okay, second attempt. Needed to restart, and here we go. We got a stock. That is not bad. We can use it. 20 info. We certainly can use it. Vipers are good for uh, medkit upgrades, which I think we should get soon because we will need them. Uh, stun lances. I would really like to have a few more troopers. Oh, there we go. One trooper corpse. Cool. That gets us to 9 out of 12. And... Wait. Cannibal corpse? Almost looks like a faceless one. Just not as good. And we do have... Advent Max. Fantastic. Arbogate, that was important. That was very, very important. Now, Roby got Fear of Chrysalids. Well, fantastic. After modular cannons, we can now finally go for Advent Mac bra Breakdown. Viper Autopsy would not be bad for the med kits because we're running out of uh, out of uh, speed to heal and we need to heal faster. So and the facility lead of course now that we do have enough intel would be good as well. So let's finish this then go for facility lead that way we're safe. And I would almost go Advent Mac, which also gives us blue screen rounds. Super good. Into Elarium. And somehow get the Elarium crystals. I'll figure that out on the way. I started to wonder how the Advent administration views our current band of renegades. Do they see us as an actual threat or more of a nuisance? Nice. Everybody's out for days at end lovely okay we got a couple of promotions does that mean we got enough to level at least some of them up okay yes we do Hayward here has 10 AP I think we're waiting for the next tier because then she can just take both of the skills Hail of Bullets. It's not bad if you need a secure way to hit, but it costs, I think, three arm ammunition. Hmm. It is expensive. Nah, I don't think it's worth it. Not yet. Uh, death from above for Rust certainly would make sense. Ok, 
good. Endors. I would love to get Death from Above here as well. Just not in a, uh, enough points, and I want to really be careful with our, with our, uh, ex, uh, with our APs. We need them a little bit later. Guerrilla Tactics School, cool under pressure. Yeah, we need the supplies. New orders, Commander. Building items still can't do the Predator armor. Um, which we need three more trooper corpses but we are getting there guys we're getting there more resistance contacts that's great that is a fantastic reward you know what let's just do that it saves us uh, to not build the resistance uh, network yet which means we can build something else it's rare that you get resistance contacts. Okay. Gotta finish those modular cannons. And we're down to 60 income. Good. Assign new research. Uh, we got the Advent Purifier as an instant. Uh, might as well just do that. Advent Purifier. So you guys wanted new items. Napalm Grenade, Dark Fog Grenade, Flamethrower and Reinforced Underlay Active. A blinding grenade that does not alert the lost when thrown. Mm-hmm. A fire grenade that does not alert the lost when thrown. Advent Purifier's armor features a number of improvements designed by Advent to enhance their tolerance of environmental hazards. We mirrored some of these changes and increased the durability of armor underlays. All vests now provide an extra plus one health. That's actually quite good. Hmm. Like it. We need to do the facility leap I will make that our highest. because I don't want to lose time on the doom clock and having that out uh, will help us immensely. Good, we got one more resistance contact. Fantastic. Hmm, that could be good because it will help our continuous income. We don't have uh, the ability to make contact yet. New Let's just try to counteract the economic crackdown. Alright, I'll play that off screen uh, because this episode is already long enough and I don't want to um, really do a separate ambush episode but i'll be back afterwards see you in a sec okay and we're back we got a repeater and a mission without any promotions pretty mundane actually got a couple of bio troopers there nothing to really write home about but we got ourselves a reduction of the avatar project which is great Plus some hacking increase, which is good as well. I like what I'm seeing. Now, what else do we have? Uh, we could potentially increase the faction here. I like that idea. Get an engineer. Health isn't bad either. And that increase in combat intelligence could be... Very helpful for extra abilities. Lots of hacking increases. This here is a great uh, mission. How many days until the month is over? Six. Okay, so really just getting that one shot. You know...
Might as well put them in here. And that will take 10 days. It won't get done until before the end of uh, the month, but uh, whenever in doubt and you don't have like really, really good missions that you could uh, do, might as well just increase the level that that will give a, you a new um, resistance order. And that on top of it, what I personally like is it gets you closer to that chosen stronghold. Not that we are anywhere close in actually attempting it, but having the theoretical possibility to pay back, that is helpful. Okay, so we got a facility lead. Eastern Europe, that's the first one that was built, so that's great. And Spark Flame Through Our Research is now instant. Well, okay, I suppose. Inferno Cannon, which is a new Spark weapon. Cool. Thumbs up. Uh, what we're doing next is Mech Breakdown and then either into Illyrium or or uh, the turret breakdown isn't bad either for defense matrix. Fiber Autopsy is good. And I know you guys want to see some of the new stuff, but I'm just trying to really survive at this point. And if we do not get enough um, trooper corpses, then maybe I actually need to go through the Illyrium research. So Advent Mac is the first, the first uh, place to go. Good. Six more days for the infirmary. And Shadowkeeper is almost done, which is great. That'll make our snipers more effective. All right, communications after the recent sabotage, our covert actions will be delayed by a week. Hmm. The Chosen are doing whatever it takes to slow us down. We need to watch out for their sabotage attempts. And that's the Archon King, so we do have basically Viper King, uh, Berserker Queen and Archon. They always happen in the same iteration, you just need to remember where they are. And that's a new freed up room. So let me suggest to build more power. And also to get this excavation going. Good. Well, it's not too bad. I mean, having that extra power can be helpful. Could we theoretically build something else that is really, really needed? Resi uh, mm. We got an infirmary, we got proving grounds, guerrilla tactics, school and resistance ring, plus training center. So we got the base buildings. Um, now, of course, Psionics could be one shadow chamber could be one but that's all uh, more advanced buildings i would rather go with the turrets first uh, that second power relay will free up an engineer and kind of compensate for the fact that we're a little bit low on engineers okay recently it has become better so we're not by no means out of the woods but i can see how how we can claw our way maybe back. Of course, I am mediocre. 
or getting kind of an uh, sabotage and an economical crackdown. Okay, Thunder Mountain, we already know that that is bad. Chosen double their effort of hunting the commander. That is not a problem. I would rather kill a Thunder Mountain. I don't know what the hidden event is. This is not worth it yet. I actually think this here is reasonable. Got another 50 supplies. Let's see regional income. Oh boy, finally. Good. We're definitely putting the 100% healing rate in here. And let's start removing negative traits. So with that 100% healing rate, it doesn't look that bad anymore. It almost looks like we got our people back, sort of. Fantastic. So Gremlin Mark II, Alarium, and even more important, Blue Screen Protocol. Cool. Well, we don't have, we don't have the Alarium yet. Hmm. Psionix is a trap for us now because it would drain even more Alarium crystals. I think as funny as it sounds, we might go for the Viper for that extra med kit. Or we're getting some Intel. Shall we get Intel to expand? I think that's the right play. Hmm. Also could use Intel in order to then research Alarium. Yeah, let's get Intel. Then we're purchasing Alarium crystals and then we're researching Alarium to get heavier armor. I need the armor upgrade. Elsewise, uh, this here is going to be suicidal. 22 supplies, great. Um, supply rate. Hmm. That would solve our immediate needs for quite a few resources, actually. And in the law is here. Or are we going for the supply rate? You know what, that supply rate is a chance for us to also level up our units on a non-timed mission. Might as well just start it. Great, Hunter's X, uh, that is really, really good. What would we have available? I mean, this is so tempting, but the trooper corpses, that's a strict no-no. Hmm. Sparks would be helpful. Frost bomb could be helpful against a couple of the primes, but we are not there yet. But given the circumstances where we are, I think um, kind of starting with a school jack so that we at least have the ability. Uh, to have another means of controlling the um, the um, doom clock that is helpful so let's just run that through afterwards the freezing bomb so that we just have enough extra equipment to play around with okay so bandits that's good. That's the best side trip that we could have at this point. Because bandits are easy peasy. 
and we would get an engineer and even more importantly we would get 90 intel which i think at this point is highly important to make contact and then hopefully build the tower to then at some point go to western europe hopefully uh so yeah that extra supply rate certainly would help as well just getting Elarium and Alloys and some intel and some supplies like if that one here is uh, would go through we would see a, a much better uh, situation for us also supply rates allow uh, supply rates allow us to take corpses so if there is any trooper there is kind of that remote chance of finally getting the armor upgrade that we were looking for and if not then we're just going to run with uh, standard armor until we have uh, um, uh, the pl uh, the big fat uh, um, uh, plasma armor okay well it's going reasonably well take a quick look uh, here Fortunately, the main team is kind of out of commission, but we have a few people that we could take onto the mission, uh, some of which do have um, level 2 bonds. Grenadier, Specialist, Ranger, Specialist. Not the worst combination to go in with double Specialist. Putting a Sniper on top of it um, and a Templar could be helpful. Yeah, but I'm going to find uh, something interesting. Okay, guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed that last mass shootout and feel like uh, that is the type of mission um, which you like to see, then uh, hit the like button, mass hit the like button, and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.